Guys, so let's talk about LOL code. So if you guys hear about LOL code, what do you guys think about? League of Legends? Yeah, that's what I thought too. Code? <laughs> Just code? What other things do you guys think about? What if League of Legends is coded in LOL? Maybe. So what other things would you guys think about when it comes to LOL code? Anything that, that like stood out, that brings to attention, that you guys are interested in. <laughs> Lol, she's actually doing this language. Hello, my Python code is working. Anyone know why? Thanks. Coding with emotion? Oh, that might be a good one. So let's look into it. Can you build an app with LOL code? Question. That is a good question, Angie. Let's figure out. So let's read the Wikipedia. Oops, that's not the Wikipedia. That's me looking at the financial status of Twitch revenue. The hell? Hello? There you go. So... LOL code. Oh, it is an internet meme language, guys, actually. Um, it's an esoteric. Esoteric? What is that word? What is that? Let's move you here. What? Is a programming language designed to test the boundary of computer programming language. Esoteric. Okay. Um, inspired by lol speak, which is a language expressed in examples of the lol cat internet meme. Who remembers this meme? I actually don't know what this meme is, guys. <laughs> what is the lol cat meme? The language was created in 2007 by Adam Lindsay, 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 researcher at the computing department of Lancaster University. Kana, memes with cats on them, really? Yeah. The language is not clearly defined in terms of operator priorities and correct syntax, but several functioning interpreters and compilers exist. One interpretation of the language has been proven Turing complete. Oh, isn't this machine learning? Yeah, so I guess it's a type of Dogecoin. 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 Laughing cats? I'm guessing it's this one, right? This is... So not much history, it's just been created in 2007 by a researcher uh, for the internet meme. Ah, it actually means you can make a working deterministic program with it. Oh, okay. So the language structure and example, it's not the machine learning? Isn't there turn, Turing something in machine learning too? Something with Turing? Because I thought he was a researcher. Guys, I'm losing my memory. No, maybe it's drink less alcohol. No. So LOL code, lower code. How do you pronounce this, by the way? Keywords are drawn from the heavily compressed Padosis? Padois? Padois? Of the lolcat internet meme. Here follow a hello world program and a simple 
program to output a file to a monitor. Patois? Oh, it's French? <laughs> Thank you, extended. Patois. Oh, was I thinking about the Turing test? So it's a patois. What is patois? Considered non-standard, although the term is not formally defined in linguistics. Here, follow a hello world code, yeah, and simply program to output a file to a monitor. Similar code was printed in the Houston Cro Chronicle. Chronicle. Local lingo? Oh. Patois is what I feed my cat from my camp. <laughs> really? <laughs> so example one. Hi, Ken has steel visible. Hi, world. K, thanks, bye. Mora <laughs> What? Oh my god, my brain just hurts. Cat has a studio? Oh. So, let's look into it. So, hi is the version. So, it's kind of like introducing yourself, right? And it specifies the version. And then cat has, oh can has. And then they're asking for which library they want to use. STO, st this means standard, standard I input output library. Can has cheeseburger is also a library, I guess. Oh, visible means message. So print. So this is basically print. K thanks bye. Just as hi introduced the program, K thanks bye, which means K thank you and bye, all strung together means okay thanks bye terminates it. <laughs> By the way, message is a write a single line comment. You can use by the way keyword. Comments are ignored by the compiler and are written for better understanding of the program. OVTY. Oh, by the way. Similar to by the way keyword, OVTY word marks a multi line comment. Oh, and too long didn't read end. Oh, you me in the Second example. So let's see, so they're using the 1.2 version, they're using a studio, a standard I.O. Um, please open file. There is please open file. This probably sounds very uh, self-explanatory. Awesome things. I think this means awesome things, right? Should I rewrite <laughs> Tweety? <laughs> Oh no, invisible, so visible file, so I think this is like a f if, 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 maybe this is if. Oh, is this a try and catch? Okay, thanks, bye. So, error handling, awesome things and oh no are introduced. I has a variable for declaring, variable r value for assigning. And then loops, here's how you create. Loops is I'm in YR. I'm in your. And ended with the I'm out of your. Or GTFO. <laughs> Here, there's a loop. Suddenly there's up, up variable, up far. Is var bigger than 10k? Thanks, bye.
Everything's getting filtered, Josh. <laughs> so implementation. Let's read about implementation, okay? So the most um, the recent up to date interpreter for the low code is I LCI written in C by Justin. Um, it interprets low code efficiently on a variety of platforms. The first low code implementation was PHP. Parser? What is this word? Parser? Parser? Written by Jeff Jones. Like parsing wise? It mentions GTFO EN ENUF. What is ENUF? Um let me just move me here because it seems I'll just go down a bit. Um, the parser website was also the first website using low code as an actual web scrape scripting language. Being open source with a BSD style license, it has been forked somewhere. Na 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 na. There is a .NET compiler for low code written by Nick Johnson and featured in Microsoft Developing tra Training Seminar. Um, PL project headed by Josh Tolley made low code available as a server side programming language. Inside Postgres SQL. Um, da 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 da. There's also a JavaScript translator. There's also a pair virtual machine. And then related projects um, has also inspired Low Python, written by Andrew Dalk, uh, uses LOL inspired syntax similar to that of local but Python like style. <laughs> Which there is now LOL Python. So it's just meme language, right? Um, Aaron C is an offshoot of LOL code that replaces Low Speak and quotes from different Arnold. Short, Schwarzenegger, Schwarzenegger, Schwarzenegger. That sounds so weird. Movies. Ah, that's why it's Arnold Ziegler. That replaces with quotes from. Guys, what I'm thinking is, I think everyone can create their own programming language. So that's all for lore code. Um, sorry guys. Wrong one. So basically, what I'm thinking is conclusion. Meme. Oh, uh, if if you are college student use this as a reference a refer ends and create your own language <laughs> Basically, that's my conclusion guys. Ah, uh, you will be. 근본님도 언젠가 본인 언어를 쓰세요. Is this the coding equivalent of learning what is that? So that's what I'm thinking guys. Thank you guys for listening about low code. That was the shortest learning codes day. Um and let's move on. <laughs>